Welcome to my new tutorial of tentacle particles animation. Let's get started. Click on new composition. Rename it to particles. For this composition, I'm using 1280 by 720 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Add a new black solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to particles. Go to effects and presets. And add a wrap code particular effect to this layer. Now add a point light to the timeline. Rename it to emitter slash 1. Change light type to point. Change light color to white. And also change intensity to 100. Go to light transform. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Add the script, from the description down below. Go to light option. And change radius to 500. Also change shadow diffusion to 0 pixels. Now add the camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to camera. Change preset to 24 millimeters. Check depth of field. And uncheck lock to zoom. Go to camera layer and to transform. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to point of interest. Right. Transform dot position. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. Click stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 100, 360 and 283.33. Three. Move the timeline to 30 seconds. Now change its value to 2000. 360 and minus 1800. Go to camera options. Change focus distance to 400 pixels. Go back to particles layer and go to trap code particular effect. Go to emitter. Change emitter type from point to lights. Change velocity to 15. Change velocity random to 0%. Change velocity from motion to 10%. And also change emitter x, y and z to 0. Go to particles. Change size to 0. 
change size over life, using presets. Change set color to, over life. Go to color over life. Change color using presets or as per your need. Go to shading. Turn on shadow let for main. And also turn on shadow let for auxiliary. Go to shadow let settings. Change opacity to 10. Go to physics. Change gravity to minus 10. Go to air. Change wind x to minus 80. Go to turbulence field. Change effect position to 300. Change fade in time to 3. Also change scale to 5. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to x offset. Right. Time multiply by minus 100. Go to auxiliary system. Change emit to continuously. Change particle per second to 80. Change life per second to 3. Change size to 3. Change size over life, using presets. Change set color to, over life. Also change color from main to 100%. Now select emitter slash one light layer. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Duplicate this layer around 25 times. Create a new composition. And rename it to final. Add a new black solid layer. Rename it to BG. Go to effects and presets. And add 4 color gradient effect to this layer. Change point 1 to 1640 and minus 52. Change color 1 to 60, 11 and 22.
change point 2 to minus 148 and 284. Change color 2 to 120, 38 and 9. Now change point 3 to 588 and 348. Change color 3 to 218, 45 and 11. Last change point 4 to 808 and 1176. And change color 4 to black. Go to project window. And drag particles comp to the timeline. Go to effects and presets. Add curves effect to this layer. Change color channel as per your need. Now add hue saturation effect to this layer. Change master hue to 30 and change master saturation to minus 74. Again add curves effect to this layer. And change its RGB channel. Go to project window. And drag particles comp to the timeline. Change its mode from normal to add. Go to effects and presets. Add curves effect to this layer. Change color channel as per your need. Now add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 80. Change iterations to 1. And also check repeat edge pixels. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Delete all effects from this layer. Now add levels effect to this layer. Change input black to 12500. Change input white to 26700. Change output white to 32700. Now add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 120. Change iterations to 1. And also check repeat edge pixels. Now add a black solid layer. Rename it to flares. Add optical flares effect to this layer. Change its mode from normal to add. Change position X and Y to 1424 and 360.
change brightness to 170. Click Options. Click Presets Browsers. And go to Motion Graphics. Select Golden Sun. You can use any flare, as per your need. Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to Effects and Presets. And add an Curves effect to this layer. Change its color channel, as per your need. Now add hue saturation effect to this layer. Change master saturation to 20. You can also add RSMB Pro effect, to make it more beautiful. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video of tentacle particles animation tutorial. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.